I want to bring in retired Lieutenant General Steph Twitty, former Deputy Commander of the U.S. European Command. It's, it's hard to listen to. We know it's happening, but when you hear these first-hand accounts, it's devastating. What is Vladimir Putin's game here now? Yeah, what he's trying to do is overwhelm the air defense systems with uh, whether it be his drones, missile attack, rocket attacks. And so that's why you're seeing him throw hundreds of missiles in there because he knows that uh, most of those will get shot down. The Ukrainians are shooting about 75 percent of those missile down, uh, missiles down. About 25 percent are striking the target. And his intent is to put the Ukrainian people in misery so that they will either capitulate or come to the bargaining table. And as you know, the Ukrainians have shown great determination and resolve. So he's going to be at this for a while until he breaks the Ukrainian people or until he runs out of missiles and drones to be able to conduct this type of warfare. And I wouldn't consider this warfare, by the way. This is nothing more than terror. You know, and that's exactly what President Zelensky says. And what you just said reminds me of the Wall Street Journal story that I read this morning about how a hospital staff in Kherson, the staff was able to thwart Russian soldiers from taking control by faking a COVID outbreak, hiding equipment. Even when they came in at the end, they did things like, uh, you know, hide the remotes for important medical equipment and saying, don't take it because you can't use it anyway. How much have Ukrainian used their wits, their determination to stay ahead of the Russians and, and to still be in the game nine months later? Well, it's, it's going to take more wits than determination because they're at sub-zero temperatures now. And I will tell you, is the weather, it doesn't favor the, the Ukrainians nor the Russians at this point. And so it's going to take wit, determination, and will to be able to fight under these conditions. And if the Ukrainians can hold up and fight under these conditions, consolidate the gains that they've gained over these past couple of months, continue to rearm, refit, and recruit, and the West continue to supply them, they'll come out of the winter months in pretty good shape uh, with the Russians still on their heels to be able to continue to make additional gains. And oh, by the way, they have their eyes set on Crimea. And so uh, as they come out of the, the spring months here, uh, be prepared for them to go for Crimea at the end of all this. But in these winter months are what I guess would be normally considered humanitarian supplies as important as the military help that the United States and our allies is giving to the folks in Ukraine. That's correct. And I know that uh, NATO as well as the EU are stepping up to ensure that uh, from a humanitarian perspective now, you have all these people in cold weather, they cannot get hot to water. And so it would be critical that the humanitarian side steps up along with the military side to ensure that the people of Ukraine are taken care of during these winter months. Lieutenant General Steph Twitty, it's good to have you here, sir. Thank you so much.